Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough on assembling the all new Experimental Pi, Pi Boy DMG. And if you're not familiar with this little handheld, I've done a few videos on it. I'll leave some links in the description. These are up for pre-order right now. They're gonna ship mid-August, but a lot of people are buying the do-it-yourself kit, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a quick video. This is an awesome little handheld powered by a Raspberry Pi 4, and it's definitely one of the best Raspberry Pi powered handhelds that I've ever reviewed on my channel. So with this kit here, I do have all the bells and whistles, the HDMI out, and the cooling fan. It's all inside of the shell here. And if you purchase the do-it-yourself kit, you will have to supply a Raspberry Pi and a micro SD card. But keep in mind, Experimental Pi also has the fully assembled unit, so you won't have to follow this tutorial if you pick one of those up. So in this kit, you'll get some screws, you get a screwdriver, you also have your faceplate and some extra L and R buttons in case you want the extensions on them. We have the little red ones here, and I do recommend using them. 4500 milliamp hour battery, the HDMI adapter, and our micro SD card adapter. And finally, we have the Pi Boy DMG with the screen, buttons, and the PCBs already inside of the kit. Experimental Pi has made this super easy to put together, and for this one I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4, but keep in mind you could use a Raspberry Pi Zero or a 3B+. So the first things first, we're going to go ahead and grab the shell. We're going to pull the screws out of the back here. We need to get inside of the unit so we can place the Raspberry Pi 4 inside of it and plug in the three ribbon cables. And once we have the six screws out, we can go ahead and pull the back half of the shell off and there's nothing attached to it. We're going to need to remove the faceplate here. And we also need to remove the HDMI cover plate because we will be replacing this. If you didn't opt for the HDMI adapter, you will reuse this plate. So now that we have the back half of the shell off, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Raspberry Pi 4. I'm using a 4 gigabyte model. I'll also grab my accessories bag and I'll find the correct faceplate. This is going to allow us to access the USB and the Ethernet on the top of the Pi Boy DMG. They do include two of these. One is for the Raspberry Pi 4 and one is for the Raspberry Pi 2, 3, and 3B+. So if you're using the Pi 4, just make sure you have the correct one. And we'll just take a look at this other one. Between the Pi 2, 3, and the 4, the Ethernet is swapped to the opposite side, so this one just won't work with the Pi 4. So this one here is obviously for the Raspberry Pi 3. Go ahead and throw that aside, and we'll grab the correct one for the Pi 4. We'll also need our HDMI faceplate. Now this is only if you opted for the HDMI adapter. So we now have the correct faceplates for the Raspberry Pi 4. Let's move over to the next step. And that's going to be removing this top PCB. This is kind of like a hat that'll sit on top of the Raspberry Pi and connect to the GPIO pins on the Pi. There's a couple connectors here, but the only one you really need to worry about in the kit version is this ribbon cable here. It's a quick connect. We'll remove the four screws that's holding this PCB down, and I only have two in this just to make it easier for the video. Once we have the screws out, we'll kind of just lay it over to the side here. And now it's time to move on to installing the Raspberry Pi 4 inside of the case. So I'm going to grab my Raspberry Pi 4. I'll install my faceplate here for the Ethernet and USBs. I'm going to go ahead and grab my SD card adapter. This is a little extension ribbon cable that goes to the main PCB in the Pi Boy DMG. You're going to plug it right into your SD card slot on the Pi. And if you opted for the HDMI adapter, go ahead and plug that in now also. So we've got the Pi 4 set up to go inside of the Pi Boy DMG case. Don't forget to add the HDMI adapter faceplate, and this is much easier to install once we have the Pi inside of the Pi Boy DMG. But I usually just place it here in the proper location so I don't forget about it. Now it's time to put the Raspberry Pi 4 inside of the Pi Boy. There's four little lineup pegs that'll go in the Raspberry Pi 4 mounting holes, and it lines up really nicely inside of this case. Make sure my HDMI faceplate is on. And you definitely want to double check that the Raspberry Pi is all the way seated here. And basically, we're just going to take that hat that we set to the side and line it up with the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi 4. Make sure it's seated properly. Just kind of give it a double check all the way around. And an easy way to tell if this is assembled properly, just take a look at the top here. If your Ethernet and USBs line up with that faceplate, you're good to go. Believe it or not, we're almost done here. We do need to mount the hat down to the Pi Boy DMG, and we also have three ribbon cables that we need to take care of. The first one we need to take care of is the LCD connector. It's an easy one. We have a snap connector. Just line it up, snap it down. You'll hear a little click, and you know it's attached. Make sure you install the four screws in the hat here just to keep everything in place. And now we need to move down to the last two ribbon cables. 
Now we're going to take care of the micro SD card adapter. It's going to plug right into this connector here and it's got a little flip lock connector. When it's locked down or flipped down, it's going to be locked in place. Kind of use your finger just to get it lined up and it should slide right in there. Just be gentle with it. Take your time. It'll go right in. Now we're going to lock down that little black clip and we're good to go with this one. So now we'll move over to the very last ribbon cable on the unit. This one right here. Now this uses a different connector. It's a push style connector. When it's pushed in, it'll be locked, so you might need to unlock it at first. And to tell you the truth, you really don't need tweezers for this one here. You're just going to grab it. I'm going to slide it right in there, and once this is locked down, you're going to have about a millimeter of that blue still left showing. So as you can see, we still have a little bit of blue peeking out there, and they're both locked down, so we're actually good to go. But before we throw the back half of the shell on, the battery in, and our micro SD card, let's just triple check everything. So the pie sitting in here flush. We have all three ribbon cables plugged in. All of the screws for the hat holding everything down is installed. And before we put the back half of the shell on, make sure you put in your power switch. This is just going to give us access to the switch itself. It's got a little cutout in it, and it only goes one way. So it's pretty easy to figure out. Now we're just going to put the back half of the shell on. Make sure everything's lined up. I just give it a quick look over. And we have six screws that are going to go on the outside here. And when you're putting these screws in, like any kind of plastic, do not torque them down too tight. Just make sure everything's getting in there real nice and snug, but do not torque them down because you may strip this plastic out. So we've got everything assembled. It's time to install the 4500 milliamp hour battery. It only plugs in one way. You can kind of wrap it around fits right in here really nicely. Put the battery cover on. Insert your micro SD card. And turn the power on. I'm personally just using a base Raspberry Pi 4 image here from RetroPie, but you can also install Laka here. On Experimental Pi's website, under the download section, I'll link it in the description, is everything you need to know to get everything working with RetroPie or Laka on the Pi Boy DMG. From the safe shutdown, to the screen, to the HDMI out, volume, they have a package over there and it's really easy to install with a base image. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. As you can see, assembly on this thing is super easy. No soldering whatsoever, you just need to plug in a few things and put the back on. It's a very easy kit to set up if you buy the kit. Now, like I mentioned, they do have fully assembled units if you don't think you can handle something like this, but most people are going to be able to put this thing together with no issues whatsoever. If you're interested in seeing how the Pi Boy DMG really performs, I have a few videos that I've posted. I'll leave links in the description. And if you want to pick up a kit or a fully assembled version, link for that is also down below. But like always, thanks for watching.